on us. Making business beautiful. So Onus mission is about making business beautiful by fusing it with art and culture. And the question for today is how difficult is it to open an e-commerce company and to operate it consistently in a, such a globalized world in which we live in? For this question, to answer it properly, we have Valer Pinderi, which we are honored to have as our guest today, which will talk to us about the challenges and opportunities of running the biggest e-commerce company of Albania, Aladine. Thank you, Valer, for being with us. Thank you for having me. And we are very curious to know on how you have been able to face all the challenges and not only that, but all the resilience in your industry, given that the competition and the ability to get structured in a competitive way is very complicated, and how you have been able to feature all of these difficulties and to continue in a path and to grow consistently with the long-term goal of going even beyond the borders of Albania, right? Yeah. Uh, to tell you the truth, it's very difficult for me to structure that kind of thing because it's really so difficult that uh, uh, it's just keeping me something that I don't know what is that, but it's just pushing, pushing, pushing. And uh, I'm doing this because uh, everywhere in the world, uh, someone is dominating e-commerce. Someone has uh, three company have 40% of the global market share on e-commerce. And in each country, someone has this domination. And in the region where that we are, in Balkans, no one has more than 1%. So that's the opportunity. That's the, so it's, it's like we are seeing the history and it will reveal to us someday. And also there is a fact that no unicorn is in, from the region. So someday someone will have a unicorn from the region. And this is what is keeping me pushing. And uh, now that I have 10 years, I know that I'm in the right direction, but I still don't know the timeline, where it will yeah. be and how it will be. So Unicorn in this case is a $1 billion company, right? Yeah, it's a $1 billion company, but uh, it's a startup that is yeah. $1 billion company. Value that $1 and, billion. Dollars. Uh, yeah, and uh, there are so huge opportunities in the region because I'm telling everywhere this kind of thing. The business is testing, failing, improving. Mm -hmm. Testing, failing, improving. And in the region, the testing is so cheap. <laughs> we can test and we can fail every day. It's yeah. very, very you, can, you can continue the next day and nothing happens. Yeah. That you have the experience and you improve yourself. Yeah, it's, it's like this. It's for everyone. In other countries, it, it's more... It's too expensive. If you fail in the United States, you have a lot of costs to have. For example, I have 50 people in the team now. And if I will be in Germany, 50 people will be a huge pay. Yeah, like five it's, times more. Yeah, more than five times. It's, wow. Uh, for sure, not five. It's 10 or 20 times wow. more. Just the team, more expensive. And uh, uh, also here it's, it's expensive and also here is a problem. But uh, failing here, it's not like failing in Germany. You cannot uh, go back with 50 people failed. And it's not easy. It's yeah. not that you can go. Everyone is doing this, but here is the opportunity. We can try, we can fail, and and uh, since now a small team like uh, the small team that uh, founded WhatsApp, we can have a lot of small teams in Albania who can try, test, fail, and try something new. And the world is changing so much now that no one has more experience than us. Yeah. <laughs> For Very example, fast. I'm telling to my people, look Amazon, TikTok. Why we cannot be better than them? They are just learning as us. Yeah. We are in the same path. That's the right perspective to have. It's, it's entrepreneur, yeah. see, I, I, I meet some guy, the sales representative of Europe in, uh, in, in an event of TikTok. And I told to him this, I can be better than Amazon. Amazon is not focusing on TikTok. I'm, I can focus on TikTok and the TikTok is the future. Yeah, because Amazon is a huge company and they have to take a lot of time to make decisions, right? They have done the same when they started. They have used Google AdWords. No one was using that. No one was trying that. They, use, they have used that. So everyone now have new, now ChatGDP is online. Yeah. No one knows how that's to crazy. use Chat, that. Yeah, that's crazy. No one knows how to use intelligence, that. it's Everyone humongous. has the same experience as us. Everyone has the same experience as everyone in Albania. 
So why we cannot compete? This is like the mindset that is keeping me pushing and is keeping me uh, staying in Albania and trying to do something big because this is the opportunity. But I have noticed something else during my journey that in 2015, uh, Rocket Internet came in Albania mm -hmm. with huge investment money and they put it in e-commerce and they opened Kaimu that time. It's not that project anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, doesn't it, exist anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. And they came in Albania and they took every good person that they thought was possible. Okay. And they put a lot of money and I was just keep going. And I, I, I saw the, their presentation and it was so strange. It was like a German presentation, perfect presentation, every detail put in place but no one understood it in Albania. <laughs> so they go to the vendors and they didn't understand wh who you are. So, what is so, this? so you need to speak this language to, to uh, take advantage of these opportunities that are here. Mm -hmm. So I want to be that guy that know this kind of language here in Albania, but also know all the world, how it's yeah. made and how it's doing things because we have this kind of opportunity. I noticed something that in Italy, for example, I didn't, I cannot find, or in French, people apply to us for customer care, just this position. And they have uh, science university, they have master degree in loyal, <laughs> they are engineers, they are any kind of thing. As I tell to them, why are you are applying in this kind of position? Uh -huh. I just want to learn something valuable for me. This school That's how they has apply. nothing make me. So, so they are very eager to adapt. Yeah. And this is what is the best skill in the world now. So a we have this kind of people that are ready to adapt. Imagine someone in, in, in France that have finished the engineer, uh, electronic university, engineering yeah. university, and you tell to him, just do social media manager. No one will do that in France. That's true, because just, they are more rigid. Yeah, they, they, are, they have signed which kind of work they will do after the university. Uh -huh. At the beginning, I... They or maybe they will try because they will fail sometimes, but at the beginning yeah. it's very difficult. So now Albania they are eager, everyone is eager to learn. And we have 40,000 people that are working as customer care for Apple, Amazon, 40,000 40, in Albania now. Wow, they, they so work they, remotely, right? They work, they are now doing just not customer care, they are doing social media manager, they are doing finance. IT as we well. are keeping the finance of Vodafone in Italy from Albania. Outsourced, yeah. Outsource everything. So Vodafone in Albania is keeping the books of Vodafone in, in Italy with people here. Yeah, so because it, may, it makes sense cost-wise for them. They exactly, sell costs. but also this adoption part. It's very, very easy for us to adapt. For example, now people are starting to learn German. Everyone know to, le to speak Italian. Why? because we didn't have nothing to do else than yeah. to learn Italian. Yeah. So this is a, a kind of value that I think it's a huge opportunity uh, now available in this region, but it's still too difficult to, to make it- To exploit. Uh, to make it uh, uh, profitable. Yeah, to exploit <laughs> because the Because we need to spend a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of uh, things to do, so you can profit. Of you have to that. try a lot of things, so you gain experience, like in your case, you have a, more than one decade of experience in the industry. Yeah. And I would like to know, how did you choose to enter this industry in the first place? Yeah, it, it was... What happened? What was the first spark? Uh, the first spark of the industry, it's at the beginning, but the first uh, motivation that it was, I was, we in Albania enter in school without knowing that school. This mm -hmm. is kind of uh, yeah, mindset that is going on. This is the name. And uh, I just went in a school, which was business. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about business. I didn't know nothing about that school. It just was the, the only one that I won. Uh, just business. Yeah, just business. General business. Management of business. Okay. I chose then marketing, but the business uh, idea was. And when I entered in that school, I was amazed. It was my thing. Really? I didn't know. That. So you found yourself directly. It directly. It was like, wow, this is wow. I, this is for I, me. And to tell you the truth, after I finished the school, I start learning a lot. And I after never, we finished university, I, you start I, reading more and yeah, more. Because at that time I was just listening to the teachers. Okay. And they told me, look this, 
I didn't want to look that because I understood the teacher, so I wanted yeah. to, to lose time uh, learning the books. But then when I finished the school, I told to my first employees that after three years, I will open my own business. And okay. it was a huge corporation, so I told to them, just use me as just much as you me. can. Because I'm here for learning and I want to learn any kind of thing. So you use me and they used me a lot. <laughs> it was so frustrating at the end of this three year period. that It was intense. I, it was very intense. I was just learning things. I was doing things. And since I was doing things, they would keep pushing me, keep giving to you me. You were not pen and play with them. <laughs> yeah. And uh, is this thing I told to them, if there is something that no one is doing, just tell me and I will do it. And it was going like this and it was the third year mm. and I needed to choose a business. I didn't have to choose a business. I needed to choose a business and uh, I I had just one year to, to do it, this kind of choose. And I didn't want know what to choose. And it was happening, The it was like, a, uh, I don't know what, but the end of the Maya calendar. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was in 2012, but since the 2011, things was starting, uh, they were told yeah. something that it will happen. You yeah. remember, we also used to believe in that thing. <laughs> yeah. We, we were thinking that we are going to die. Yeah, I was thinking... We were too late just to prepare. <laughs> I was uh, exactly at 11 of November 2011. And I was, I was waiting. I just need to wait this kind of day. After that, I will think about the business. I told to myself. <laughs> And, uh, and I was planning with this day because I was telling that if the end of the world is what? Uh, why I need to think about this business idea? So I stopped thinking about the business idea until the 11-11 uh, happened. And no one talked about the end of the world. No one told nothing that I was mistaking. Sorry, this doesn't happen. It just got forever. It, it just, no one talked. No one talked. It's like, it's like the book of George Orwell. Uh, uh, 1864 is something that okay. uh, the big brother told something and everyone trust that thing. <laughs> and it was like that. Everyone believed it. Wow. And then I thought, but why they are doing this? Why they think people are thinking that the end of the world, something is happening. And then I thought, it's changing the area. So now we are in the information age. Yeah. It's so not like... It was the beginning of something new, not the end of everything. Exactly. So it's like the, the, the Monday. It's like the first day yeah. of January. It's like everything. Yeah. Since it's the new start and uh, it's an uh, information age, I will do e-commerce. Yeah. And this is the idea. And I bought the name uh, and I needed to choose the name within that day. <laughs> because I needed to do in that day, particularly, I didn't have nothing uh, how to do it. And I didn't so you had, you had a sense of urgency to finish it the that first day. possible. That day. No, exactly that day. Wow. So I needed to finish the, the, the brand that day. And I chose Duchan Taxi, mm -hmm. which is a taxi shop. Uh, because how people can understand me with this kind of new idea that yeah. no one know about e-commerce in Albania. Like uh, Kadabra of Amazon, oh, it it was uh, uh, not a good name, but it made history in Albania because yeah. it goes for nine, nine years uh, until I change it to Aladini and we open so the new. Yeah, <laughs> it's like now that I have closed that, everyone tell me that why that was the brand, why you didn't bought that. <laughs> It's just the name, but... But now it's easy when you see it from the future there to speak about these things. Yeah, it's easy, but now that I'm speaking, I'm remembering how this can be possible because it's just a commitment that I do it to myself and I have 10 years just trying, 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 trying and never giving up. And wow. this is my best skill, I think. Never give up. Yeah, uh, never, 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 <laughs> never give up. Uh, it's like Jim Rohn tells uh, when is the end until it's done yeah. it's not that there is an end to so, anything so so basically in your personal experience after you finished university you continue to teach yourself through other books after university uh, after the university until now and i don't know when i will finish so it was just uninterrupted after learn. university you just keep reading different books for just different sectors that help you on building your business right yeah and then making better decisions 
seeing podcasts like this, uh, seeing, uh, following YouTube channels, following author, uh, reading any kind of books. Uh, now that I'm coming here, I was uh, listening to Audible. Uh, I have a dog which is 10 years and I walk him twice per day, every day. Listening to podcasts? So I'm listening to podcasts every day for 10 years. Uh, and wow. it's amazing because uh, I understood the need of learning and uh, the uh, reward of learning. No one told me about that. No yeah, one told me. But nobody it, does. It was something strange. Nobody does, though. It was something strange when I was, when I was, when I was working and I have chose the name and uh, an audio book came to my laptop. I don't know how. Maybe I downloaded somehow, but I don't know because I just formatted that laptop. And it was One Minute Millionaire. One Minute Millionaire. Wow. The name. And I keep reading that until I was hypnotized when he started and he told me, you are enough, you have enough, you need enough mm -hmm. to be a millionaire. And I was, what? No one have ever, ever, ever told me that I am enough, I have enough, I yeah. have enough. No one ever. And I was hypnotized with that book. And then I just keep learning <laughs> so you don't have to justify yourself that i cannot do this because i don't have enough but no, you are ready no. and you have to move before you are ready because you are already are right yeah i'm just thinking which is the next physical step that's mm -hmm. all dushan taxi was in 2011 in 11 of november 2011 so 11 11 11 yeah it was i was waiting for the end of the world the maya calendar and yeah. uh, nothing it happened <laughs> yeah. yeah but Also in 2011, also in 2000, people say that something will happen. And I was waiting for that to happen. And nothing happened and I saw all the media, everything. No one talked about that. I was waiting and no one talked. Oh, we were mistaken. No one told that. And I, I thought that now the things are changing, but it's just the new era. It's okay. the information era. So I need to do a business. It's the new calendar in the Mayan. Yeah, it's just it's just Tradition. something new, something yeah. un, un, unthinkable before. It's just this. It's not the end of something, or it's not the end. It's the beginning it's, of something new. Yeah. yeah. So, so I thought yeah. I will start e-commerce in Albania in a phase where no one was trying to do it. A lot of people were were trying to think about that and trying to just do a website, mm -hmm. but no one was trying to do something stable, something structured, consistent, something real. No one. And uh, at the beginning, no one believed me. So I start to telling to them, I just have a shop on uh, Tirana, just a physical shop. I didn't tell to them because I, I start telling to the people that I have an e-commerce uh, company and they were, whoa, are you, are you lying to us? What is this e-commerce? <laughs> Nothing. So, so I just start lying to them. I was telling, not dying, but just telling a part of the truth because I had also an office and I put some product on the office. So I told to them that I have a physical store over there mm -hmm. and they just give me the product at the beginning. So this is, was starting. But then after four years, everyone start to try and still everyone is trying now, but still no one is uh, succeeding. No one is succeeding because e-commerce is like in all the world. There are four companies that have 40% of the market share in Poland, in global. It's Alibaba, it's Amazon, and it's uh, another Chinese, Timal, uh, Ali, something uh, not part of Alibaba. So in Poland, there is still three that have 40% to 50% of the market share. In Germany, there are still three that have 40% to 50%, and it will be one at the end. So it's like an oligopoly that will it's transition like to a monopoly. It's scale, it's very important in this kind of business. It's almost the thing, the data and the logistic part. Mm -hmm. And in Balkan, no one has more than 1%. No one. Market share, no one. 1%. No one wow. has 1%. Wow. So it's, it will be huge. In all, in all bulk. No, in all bulk. Because we have 2% of Albania. <laughs> that's But the old Balkans, that's no one. And uh, there is, from 2018 at least, 
hundreds of companies trying every year and thousands of individuals trying every year. Everyone. Everyone, come on. At least 99%, 1% must succeed yeah, yeah, in a certain way. Or just are keep pushing, but it's very difficult. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I am telling you because I am one of the only one that have stayed in the marketplace uh, still because it's it's very difficult. It's it's very challenging. It's it's so beautiful, so clear the path for me now that I have 10 years in this process. 10 years, one decade. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's still so difficult because it's not about me. It's not about what I know. It's about all the infrastructure of the uh, the country. Yeah. So the logistic part, the vendors is very important. Uh, the, the the promotion, everything. It's it, it's connected. The employees are very important, so they need to do it. Uh, okay. This is the challenge that we have. Makes sense. It's very rare to find somebody that has this kind and of I mental perspective. This, this you need to have a stronger why. Uh -huh. That's why maybe because this is what's going on uh -huh. because it's very complicated. I don't know why I'm doing this. You don't know why. I don't know. It's it's. You don't know so the difficult. exact why, but you know like. The yeah, I I, it, I don't know how it's this going on because it's it's so easy to give up and to because I'm capable of doing a lot of things, but this is the most difficult thing that I can do in every kind of- That's what challenges you. And no, it's not, it's, I, don't, I don't want to give up. I don't, I, I know that, as I told you, the future is like this. Someone will do this in this region. Yeah. And I, I just don't want to give up until someone has done it. True. Because that's the probability. It's like increasing the probability as much as you go every day. Yeah. So I was telling that now I'm just focusing on what is the next step. Because what is the physical next step? In your industry, right? In anything. Okay. If I failed now today in any kind of thing. Which is a probability. Uh, which is a probability. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I can go very easy now. Nowadays, because I have passed some challenges about Albania that make me <laughs> so so strong. So tough, yeah. I, I just I just need to know which is the next physical thing. And this is something that I learned from Brandon Burchat, I think it's uh, someone. Uh, and uh, it was very easy to, give, to, to, to take off all the stress. Because when you know the physical thing that to, is now, for example, I need to go to this podcast. This is a physical thing. Yeah, I need something to, concrete. I need to have a brainstorming about what kind of idea I need to get out of this yeah. mess. So this is a physical thing and this is very helpful because I can do that. It's very easy. This is the, the, the thing that it's keeping me uh, afloat. <laughs> when so it's like a plan that you have to follow from one step to the other, right? Yeah, it's like steps. Uh, now we have this kind of next step and then the next one and Maybe we don't know how is the road in yeah. up that, but we will see. And we we have a lot of uncertainty yeah. before us, but we have to have the right courage to face things and we don't have to give up. So basically, what is your main suggestion to the young entrepreneurs who are listening to us and they have like a possible, a potential idea, a business idea, but they are not willing to go all in in it because they have their insecurities. Yeah. They think that they have disadvantages working from Albania. They have a smaller market. They have less potential to raise capital and they have other barriers uh, compared to other countries where they would have like a more smooth path on achieving their and building their business ideas. What is your suggestion to these young entrepreneurs? That that's the problem. So uh, there is not something that can make you not succeed, except you giving up, <laughs> and except you not doing that. There is nothing else, because uh, it's Albania, and I have taken more than ten, ten times investment from Albanian investor, it, because I'm just keep doing that. I'm just keep trying. I'm just keep pushing to, to how I'm going to the first time and they laugh to me. Yeah. Okay. So they laugh to me. How I they can do no. it without them laughing to me. <laughs> so this is what I can do. What I can yeah, you adapt it, yeah? I cannot control the, the reason of the, the their 
characters. I cannot control that. I, there, this is the fact. They are the facts. I have the only control is without my, my possibilities and my trying. So these young people need to do these kind of things, to try. Mm -hmm. Because they are just thinking that I have an idea, someone will stole me. If they stole you, it's better than you don't try it. So just go and yeah, uh, keep let, up. Let, let, let them steal that. But you know that this is the idea that is working. Because it's not about the idea, it's about the execution. Mm -hmm. And now I'm, I'm changing that phase because now it's not about me anymore. It's about the team. This mm -hmm. is my biggest challenge now. So I, I have to my, my yeah. personal challenge. I know I'm capable. I know I can do things, but I can all do anything, everything. I need to do things with my team. And I have more than one year that I'm trying everything. I'm all into the team now. Mm -hmm. Everything that I'm, every focus that I have, every kind of strategy that I have, it's about how the team can do it. I have stopped thinking in the company about me anymore. Okay. This is the phase that very few go to Albania. And this is the phase where a team is not working. We have a very unfunctional teams in Albania. And I was very frustrating in, in, with this thing. And I meet a psychologist. And I told him, oh, thank God you, I meet you. <laughs> I need some advice from you. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I told him, I'm going crazy. It's so amazing. I cannot focus on my work because someone tell me why you told me this, why you uh, told me like this, why he told me this, yeah. why... So conflict. So we are thinking about emotions. We are talking about their emotion. I don't care about emotion, I told to him. I'm You're about to events, yeah. So I'm going to them, why you haven't done this? But oh, this one told me this. Uh, I don't care. Justification. How you can do? And he told me... It, and I told to him what I can do with them because I thought that there is a problem with me or with them. And he told me something strange. But there it's not about you and it's not about them. It's about the human being. And, uh, the human nature, right? The human nature. So in all the world now, there are some people that are uh, depressed. Mm -hmm. In all the world. After the pandemic, much more. Much more, maybe, but in all the world. And the statistics are very easy to be seen. And I'm talking about one in eight. Wow. I'm not talking about uh, someone yeah, in yeah. 100. Two in eight, maybe. Yeah. There yeah, are, more. Uh, they have anxiety. And depression. Anxiety, not depression. Depression is another one. Or maybe uh, both. And another one have self-esteem problems yeah and so we are human nature and we have this kind of emotion now the process is that in albania it's about we don't have the processes as in google for example you go in google and you need to fulfill a form yeah and then someone need to do a process right, when you apply for a job right when you do anything so you have a process in part yeah this is a company you have processes in place in albania since we are a smaller team this is building the processes so all the problems there are on me now because I need to take these kind of problems from... Yeah, you are the leader in this case yeah. and you have shifted from management to leadership because yeah. you are caring much more for your no. team now than before. Exactly, but the processes are not yet done in Albania mm -hmm. in any kind of situation. So we don't know how is the, raw, uh, the, uh, the rule of law yeah. because there is not clear path yeah. you can do a corruption you can do a, a new uh, guy you can know someone you can be yeah, yeah, something yeah. it's not clear in united states in big corporates the process are very clear yeah so the the mindset the the pressure is going to the people at the end mm -hmm. in albania the pressure is going to the people in the top because everything we, we i need to create these processes which is not very easy because yeah. it's about politics of because people. Because everything it's starts from you. emotions, yeah. The moment that we have built these processes, we have built this, it will take off some pro pressure from me. Mm -hmm. But so this is a process and I was, okay, thank God it's not a problem. So it's just a challenge. It's just a, a thing that I need to do it. Yeah. And then, then I go all into to that problem again. But yeah. it's like, uh, I never thought about that. And this uh, psychologist helped me think about that because we are like this. We have this kind of emotion until mm -hmm. the company is structured in a way that 
we don't care about this kind of emotion mm -hmm. it's just about numbers yeah until that we need to care and we need to manage sure. that because sure. it's but what is your suggestion on how to face people who have signs of anxiety and depression which are considered negative emotions generally how can we help them to face no. these negative emotions that is very very difficult it's i mean like if an employee of yours is in a certain it's... period of his life that has like signs of anxiety and depression and of low self-esteem as you talked before what do you suggest in these cases in your experience i think uh, there is one thing uh, to do uh, separate the facts to the history because everyone is making history when we're talking mm -hmm. it's not a fact it's just our it's, history yeah. imagination we think that uh, your world is uh, interacting with me the fact is something different mm -hmm. the fact is your world not you i my history about your world so we are just we, we are uh, feeling things because we are putting our history inside no one is making us feel bad Ourself is making us feel bad, our history. So this is the, the leader role, is to separate this kind of uh, history from the... Uh, from reality. From yeah. the reality. reality versus imagination. It's that uh, this history are not, uh, not good. It's just that these are history and we need to keep in mind that it's a history. Maybe it can change. And since someone is creating that history, uh, uh, someone can change it. But this is the, the process, but yet it's very difficult, that kind of uh, situation. And uh, I, I'm not a capable person to, to give a, a good suggestion about that. Maybe yeah. I'm interacting in a good way now, since the team is my priority. But uh, it's, it's very difficult uh, to, to, to understand that kind of uh, things. We are That's very true. complicated uh, individuals. Yeah. Individ algorithm. algorithm. <laughs> if, it, if, if we were algorithms, it would be much easier. Yeah, but we are an algorithm. But the algorithm is not emotional. It's not emotional. Yeah, so. we, we have emotions that make us complicated. It's an algorithm again. Okay. I told you, it's the history that we are creating. It's not, for example, uh, I was seeing a, a soccer uh, game and it was Germany with Brazil. And uh, Germany lose the game. Uh -huh. My yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, everyone was interacting different. So it was the same fact. A game was lost. But someone was happy. <laughs> someone was crying. Someone was screaming. Yeah. Someone was mad. Someone All the kinds of emotions. Mad. Why is happening this? Because everyone put a different story in their mind. Yeah. Someone told me that I am losing the most important game of my life. He was not playing, but he was yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. And you, like you were someone with someone was, okay, we will win next year. <laughs> this was the next history. So yeah. everyone is doing this kind of history. But again, it's this history that is making. And we have some kind of, uh, we can hack that algorithm. I know yeah. that we can hack that since you but see. It, it uh, has to be a lot of work to make ourselves aware, right? Yeah. Yeah. To have the algorithms, we have yeah. to be self-aware of how, on how our mind works. Yeah, that's the, first the place. difficult part of, yeah. of everything. But going to the young entrepreneur that are in Albania or in the region, because it's not. I'm. I was very shocked when I go to Macedonia and uh, Serbia, and I saw the exact environment. Exact I was, environment. Wow, because I was thinking even Serbia, the exact environment. Even Serbia, I was thinking that Albania is a unique place when e-commerce is not working because of this, 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 this. And then I go to a conference in Macedonia and I was the same. Wow. Okay, it has some small differences. Yeah, but generally the same situation. The same, it was the same in Serbia, it was the same. There are some changes with the population, with the ge 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 geographic places, but still we are the same. And this is the last unconquered region for e-commerce, but not only for e-commerce. Mm -hmm and not only for this kind of industry. This is an unconquered world from a lot of things. So we don't have McDonald's here. Uh, and this is uh, an idea that this is something that we need to keep in mind to do that. Because when McDonald's, for example, will come, they will buy something local. Uh -huh. They will buy to a shop to, to open their store. Yeah. So we need to, to keep in mind that if we want to make money and to have succeed in this environment, the idea is to, to be ready and to do things. To be, I, I cannot imagine how much businesses 
will fail if we enter to the European Union now. Mm -hmm. And everyone want to go to European Union. How they can, I have 400 partners in the company, at mm -hmm. least 400. That's, that sell through your platform, right? That work with us, okay. that are distributor, that are different kind of, and they are so basics in their business. Mm -hmm. So they don't have any kind of strategy. They don't have any kind of infrastructure. They just go with the flow of the market. They, they just are occasionally in that kind of business. Mm -hmm. If we go to European Union, they will go out of the business. Mm -hmm. 90% percent compete. of the business that I know will go out of the business because they cannot compete. So now they need to understand that we need to do business with a competitive advantage, not just because yeah. I have done that. Uh, what makes you unique? Someone has done that and we need to copy that. It's just what competitive advantage do we have? And I'm telling this is just the basic that we learn in the school, but I'm telling this in Albania because it's a few businesses have done this. They don't in have Albania. the concepts, yeah. When the Communist Party take off, well, that's why maybe uh, um, Serbia is more developed than us, because we thought for the first time about business and capitalism in 1991, 30 years before. Yeah. And the first 10 years, you didn't need to do business. You just need to do transaction. So you have a Mac, you sell it. Yeah. Triple the price within the day. True. The first 10 years, you True. just sell it. You just need to have something to sell it. The market is empty, yeah. It's just, uh, if you go to uh, a room of people that are angry, you just give something to eat to them no, and no. they will buy it. And they will be happy. Maybe, yeah, they will be happy or maybe they will work for you for one year just to eat that, uh, that Space, thing. Yeah. So it was like this, the first 10 years. The second 10 years, it's just some of them were disrupting because some of them were just failing because some of them understood that we need something more. We need to add something in the business. Yeah, it's not working just to have a cup because everyone understood that a cup is selling so everyone came with uh, 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 a lot of trucks of, of cars. And the market was full of them. So it started, it yeah. started, it just started the second 10 years in Albania and the third 10 years, the third decade, for the first time some businesses started with a strategy, mm. with a competitive advantage and now we are at the beginning of this phase. For the structuring of the business. Of the structure of, of business, like it should be a business. Yeah, yeah. It's not a, a, a proper structured a, business. A proper business. So now it's the first stage in Albania that we have this kind of businesses. Fortunately, it's moving fast. A lot of businesses are opening. A lot of franchises are opening. We didn't have this kind of franchise before, before yeah. fi five years. We are the, the uh, place with the most coffee shop in the world, maybe in Europe. And we didn't have a franchise about coffee shop. It was unbelievable because we didn't have this kind of structure. It's just you open a coffee shop here, you open. We didn't have a supermarket chain before. No, nowhere there is yeah. exist like it was in Albania. So we have the history to see. And we know the history now. It's very easy to understand which is the future of Albania, uh -huh. which is the future of business in Albania. We just need to do the right thing and to keep doing that. It's, it's like this. So this young entrepreneur, since they see problems everywhere, because they see, they notice the problems, they don't need to depress about that problem, but they need to think that they can change that. They can solve the problem. They can solve the problem. This is the business. Solving a problem for people that are willing to, to give money. True. That's all. So this is the mindset that they need to think and they are entrepreneur. I know a lot of people that are, have an entrepreneur uh, spirit better than in Italy that I have seen or better in France. We have more people that are entrepreneur in Albania. Yeah, a lot of energy goes in, yeah. Yeah, because they don't know how, what to do else. They just need to keep for themselves. There is yeah. not a, a good government that can, can uh, fulfill all the needs of the people in Albania, like in Germany, uh, we need to keep for ourselves. So we have a, this kind of spirit that is uh, due to this structure that have yeah. Albania. They just need to push that energy to the right direction, not to complaining, but to solving problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is again also for people who want to work. 
Yeah. I told you that I go to that company and I told to them, I just am here for learning. So just give me anything. Everything, yeah. And I noticed that I, it was very easy for me to do things because when I go to someone and ask for a rise of uh, the, the wages, they told me, okay, you are doing everything. It's very easy. Or if I want to do more money, I just ask. I need to do more money. What I need to solve else. Mm -hmm. Just give me something to solve. And it's the same with me. If someone came to my office and told me, I can solve this problem for you, which can make you 10 million of euro. Can you give me 1 million? <laughs> sure. Of course. They will be happy because you are, you are presenting their self-interest first. It's amazing. I, I can give you, but now it's happening something a, something strange. Give me 1 million of euro because I can solve you some problems. Mm -hmm. They don't know which kind of problems they can solve me. So they nobody will good. Yeah. Yeah, but, but why you are not giving to me one million? And I, I have tested in these 10 mm -hmm. years since I told you that I'm just testing Trying, things. Yeah. I've tested rise of money to people. The productivity is not Here working. in Albania, right? Here in Albania. It's not working. It's not working. It's not the solution, that part. Mm -hmm. But clear goal, how to achieve. And that how rise. the investors will benefit profitably from it. That's yeah, the most important part, right? That's the uh, the investor part, yeah. which is how business can run. Self interest. But uh, in the employees' eyes, is is they don't understand this kind of structure. They don't understand how this can work. But uh, if I raise the money to them, they will not change the productivity. It's it's happening. It's yeah. like it's like clear for me now that I have tested a lot of time. Yeah. What is clear is that. If I give to them uh, what they need to flourish, uh -huh. then they can uh, be happy and then they can have a raise. True, true. It's very easy for them to have a raise when that kind of environment. But that is the difficult part because we are a very complicated algorithm. It's not like we are easy, so we can have an input. It's not like this. Yeah. With emotions. <laughs> yeah, That's right. maybe someone told something else. For example, when I told them yeah. something else, and uh, then you need to, <laughs> to figure it out what you can do it. But in the case of your team, what is the first criteria that you value mostly when a new member wants to be part of the team? Like an outsider that has applied to be part of a certain role in your organization and wants to be part of your team. How do you filter all the candidates and what, which is the criterion that you value most in this case? Uh -huh. I have noticed that I cannot uh, evaluate someone with a CV. I'm not yeah. seeing that anymore. <laughs> it's, sure, you have to interview it uh, face to face. All, all, also, it's not about just one interview. It's very difficult because people are not true. We are yeah. not telling the... It's not that we are liars. We are acting. But yeah, we are acting. We are playing the part. Yeah, exactly. So it's so complicated to understand someone very easily with one interview but what i'm trying to see it's their uh commitment to to do the thing so their commitment to go to the end is not giving up for example it was someone who came me and he write me uh, to my instagram profile Valera, i i i want to work with you but i have the interview and they didn't took me to the i can work for free really done okay. come and he came now it's working and he can grow a lot because this is like the man mindset that uh, is that we value yeah also how they can solve problems the second one we need to solve problems this is our only uh -huh. goal how they can fa that we can face difficult situation in a certain how they can yeah. solve problems and he solved this problem with uh, contacting me directly uh -huh. it's a way someone can solve a problem in a and with a good offer as well and with the good offer, <laughs> just uh, thought how I can solve this kind of yeah. problem. So uh, this problem solving skill is the most important, I'm thinking, after we have the commitment to do the job. Because yeah. if we don't have the commitment, then anything will obstacle us. Anything. We have so much obstacle in our way mm -hmm. that it's almost impossible to not give up to someone. But if you have the commitment that, okay, obstacle is the way so yeah. uh, which is the next obstacle for me this is the next obstacle and i solve that problem if yeah. you have that commitment then how you can solve problems is the way because there are some people that are very committed they can work from day to night 
but they don't know how to solve problems. Yeah, they are mechanical. They, they, they it's like they are, uh, they are having problems with just something very small. It's like amazing how it's this kind of people change. Mm. There are some people that see a thing and they try to fix it. And there are some uh, people that see a thing and they make it an obstacle that cannot be done. Yeah. So uh, I cannot work with this second one. I, I don't know how to work with them. If anything that uh, it's going to the right way, it's a problem that cannot be solved. I, I don't know how to work with them. True. Maybe in the future when it's a work like you just do this, 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 and it's very easy if they told like me. Like an algorithm. Yeah, it's cold, okay, open an air conditioner, and then it's easy. But if there is something with interaction with how I can solve their yeah. problems, it's, it's very difficult. So I need to go to another people, to another person. Yeah. If then there is only one guy who needs to be fixed, I can solve that problem, but... Yeah, makes uh, sense. Another common theme, also with other entrepreneurs, which we have interviewed in our podcast, was the difficulty to find and to retain talent, human capital. So basically, what they were complaining for was the lack of people and the willingness to work was very low. Because nowadays, especially the younger generation, are having non, let's say, important yeah, role models. They want an easy life and they want just to earn money directly, quickly. They do not want to work hard to attain a long-term objective and a long-term successful career or building a new business which will take time as you told before that you have to fail, you have to learn from it, you have to fail again, learn from it again, etc. And basically this was a very big problem in their perspective of finding people with whom to work with. Human resources. Is this the same with your organization and your company? Generally, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's a, a path that it's it's being very noticeable in Albania, but I don't think it's not only in Albania. Uh. It's everywhere. But uh, for me, this is not a problem. This is the, the way. Huh. For example, I don't have expectation with uh. this. I had expectation before one year and I was very frustrating. And then I thought, okay, let's deal with it. These are the people. Why I, I need to think that I need someone that can work very good, that can do a lot of things, that uh -huh. is very motivated. It's not about me. So I you cannot. accepted the reality. I accepted the reality. So, so now what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to find how I can make this because I'm seeing that they have, and I'm talking a lot. I have a YouTube channel just for this. Mm. I'm talking on TikTok. It's called Super Mars, right? It's called Super Mars Entrepreneur in Albania because it's only for Albanian. I need to know them. I need to interact with them. That's why I'm doing that kind of channel. And I'm seeing that, for example, they have a very uh, good attitude to stay on TikTok for eight hours. I cannot stay. You can pay me as much as you can. But TikTok is designed for that thing, you yeah. know? Also in Instagram. It rushes your brain. 8 to 12 hours. I cannot stay. I, I go mad. If you no, it's crazy. give me 1,000 euro, maybe I can do it for, for today. It's crazy. <laughs> but then the next day, I need to rest. Yeah, because it's but, like candy for the brain. Social media is like candy from the, for the yeah, brain. It threatens the brain. Yeah, but that's it's really, again, it's like it's, it's happening. Why I cannot give that candy? For the yeah, brain, yeah, uh, yeah. in a different way. Yeah, true. It's, it's like there is a potential over there. There is a willing. And when I talk to them, I see that they are understanding to me. But it's very difficult to make them move from this dopamine, overwhelming yeah, dopamine yeah. On, on TikTok. Because so, it's, that's not real dopamine. It goes down at the time that you leave TikTok. Yeah, it's not consistent. I, and when you are like... It's very difficult to... You are very low and you want to get out again. <laughs> so basically you are passive all the time. And that's... An, artificial intelligence that is working against me because we are competing with a uh, TikTok algorithm now. <laughs> I'm competing with them and I'm seeing how to win with algorithm. <laughs> and I have noticed something that... Uh, now, you have to introduce entertainment as well. Uh, yeah. But now I have done something. I, I, I have six months, at least that I'm doing something, I'm failing with this mm -hmm. perspective. And now I think I found that uh, there is uh, a solution. A solu no, the solution, because... Uh, 
I, I talk to them, I go to the school, to the u university, to the high school, and I talk to them and I make a one hour speech and they were, wow, amazing. And then they go to TikTok. <laughs> I, they forget about me. Everything. So I thought, they are staying 10 hours on TikTok? I talk from TikTok. I go on TikTok. It's very easy. <laughs> it's, and I'm on TikTok and they are interacting as crazy. Really? Crazy. Wow. So I told to them physically in the high school. I go to them and I told to them, I will give you 200 euro if you do a video. Uh -huh. And a 60 second video like this, and I make a video on TikTok live over there. And they told me, oh, this is amazing. I will do that. And they register to this kind of profile. And then no one sent me a video. <laughs> no one. And I was, what? How? 12 hours per day. And then I thought, how this can be possible? So I go to TikTok and then I make a live and I told to them, Valer Pinderi, CEO of Aladini, how I can help you. And they told me, I need to make money. Oh, you need to take money? Let the hear me <laughs> now. <laughs> and I told to them, I need to, can you make a video? They sent me a video without money on TikTok. Then they sent me a video in, on Instagram without money. And then they do something else. It's not to internet. Yeah. Then I thought, okay, I will do an online. I will do online everything as I'm doing. And I opened uh, on 20 December, so two weeks before, uh, 20 something December, I made the YouTube video uh -huh. and I told them, I finally found it, how you can work remotely from home, uh, make part time, make, make money. money. And this was their need. Yeah. They all desire. Yeah. And 900 people have applied. Whoa. <laughs> so in 19 January, I will start that process. Wow. But I know that 5% of them will succeed. Yeah, for this sure. This is very clear for sure, to for me. Sure. But I was accepting 100 people at maximum. Mm -hmm. And they are applying 100 per day now Whoa. if I promote that. So so it's not about the, the, the this kind of uh, people that we need to be better. How we can do that better? How we can work with them this is the challenge and i need to have and my personal challenge is the financing part in in albania mm -hmm. this is the the challenge raising, that I have, capital. raising capital which is m making me mad <laughs> because if i had my own money i can do huge you things. mean for scaling your company right for scaling and for for doing this kind of thing because this needs attention need energy need money yeah, sure need sure people need resources things, need resources need time which is very important. The most limited resource. And the most important, I have raised more than 10 times money in Albanian. From investors. different investors? From different. 10 times from different ones. Wow. Maybe. I have wow. lost the count. It's, uh, uh, we are going to crowdfund now. Really? For the first time an Albanian company, we are going to Thunderbin. Uh, maybe we hoped it was this month, but it didn't happen. But in the case of investors, you give them a share of your company? Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's so basic, like yeah. way, like it should be, but I raised a lot of money and I have noticed one thing in you know, Albanian investors that I don't like. Mm -hmm. They cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, they want the money the next day. It's, it's like they, oh, it's like they cannot, I'm telling you this, it's a process like this. Sure. You need, I need to figure it out, how can they make? 900 people work for yeah. me. It's not like magic that I can do it. True. They told me, yeah, it's a good idea. But after they give me the money, no, I cannot wait. I want my money back. For that, it's very, no, no, they don't want that money back. It's not that like that bad. <laughs> I want my profits, at least. 5% of them want yeah. the money back, but after one, but, but also not the profits. It's not that they, they, they cannot keep pushing, keep going, keep going. Like it's happening everywhere, like Amazon. They took the first money. If you don't have money, it's not a problem, but we need to raise another money, another yeah, capital. Another round, it's yeah. not about you. It's not It's not my investor that need to give me money. It's, I don't have money. How I can judge yeah, sure, a person sure. that don't want to give me money. It's very understandable, but, but they don't let me raise again money. To create the value, yeah. Yeah, but that's the problem. So I need to raise money. I can raise money as much as I can. It's not, a problem for me mm -hmm. but when i have the majority that no we don't need to raise money we need to go with our own capability we it's need traffic. to move fast we need to keep because someone will take your the, share yeah the, the percent the dominance in albania and if they take the dominance in albania it's 200 million euro market in e-commerce and if yeah. it's the same in macedonia which is 300 and then it's in uh, it's serbia which is 1 billion yeah 
how we can compete with someone that have 10% of this kind of market. Yeah. I cannot raise any more money in that part. You have also worked with Dolphin as a corporation, right? Yeah, it in the was past. the same. It was the same. It's amazing how uh, they are the best company corporate in Albania. The bigger, the bigger one, yeah. The bigger, but also best, because I have learned from them. I worked with them. The, that well, how long did you work together? Uh, that was the company that uh, I was told to them used me. Okay. So I know them and uh, we are uh, we have a very good relation also now. Mm -hmm. But they were the typical uh, ent Albanian entrepreneur that they couldn't wait. So mm -hmm. we opened, uh, we needed almost a year to rebrand Duchan Taxi, to rebrand everything, to change the structure, to do... With Aladini brand, Everything, right? yes, needed to be done with a good company, as Balfin needed to do. And then they waited four months to have the results. Only four months. It's, it's like one year to make the brand, and four wow. months to have the results. It's, it was like, wow. So, so this kind of uh, opportunity. Yeah. And uh, I told them, let me go. Let me do my thing. And we agreed and then I so followed the path. They stepped back, right? They stepped back because the, uh, it was a strategic part. Also at that time, uh, it was very, it was one month before the pandemic. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> no so, one knew the pandemic will come. So too bad for them. Let's say. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, too bad. But do you have? Uh, in the pandemic, I was without an investor, without money. Uh, and yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had made a lot of growth, but I uh, took off the company half of the people one month yeah. before the pandemic. So it was like crazy. <laughs> it was like the pandemic was very difficult for yeah. all the businesses. Yeah, it, for us it was very easy. For what, for the others, so were very very for difficult. Us, yeah. That, uh, yeah, we were ready, but I I took off every yeah. people. So I was like I was going to package. I was doing. A lot of things, it was crazy. If they waited one month, we could be original now. Mm -hmm. If they waited. so Only one month. It's so easy. Even wow. for a big corporation. To lose chapters in perspective. Yeah. Do it. Just keep trying until you do it. It's like this for a corporate and for young people. Yeah. It's the same. It's You don't give up. It's yeah, but in this case, for example, most young entrepreneurs are afraid of presenting their ideas to huge corporations, such as the one that we mentioned before, such as Balfin, because they think that they will copy their idea. But in this case, it's not a problem, right? You have just to keep up with your work. No, 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 it's not. Uh, they don't know how they are trying to copy me now. <laughs> they they were our because you had the company. <laughs> we could have come with <laughs> No, it's 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 the work that you need to do. Yeah, Don't yeah, give yeah. up. They give up. How can <laughs> they do it? <laughs> with the, the, the solution is don't give up and yeah. they give up. How they can do it? Yeah. How can they yeah. cop me to me? So yeah, it's yeah. it's not about coping. It's not like we have a uh for example now that someone can cop me about life selling live on TikTok and on Instagram. This mm -hmm. is something that can be... Copied. Aladini is doing it right now. Aladini is doing it. I'm telling a secret. This is something that they can copy me. It's just about the copy. Mm -hmm. This kind of thing now, because it's new. Mm -hmm. But the business is not only about the life. Yeah, it's someone just something do, that is part of the business. Someone can do a business with the life now, but not Aladini. Aladini mm -hmm. is just a feature about yeah. that. But One part of it. It's not the idea. Like, also the life when... Aim to to continue after the live. Of course. So they can do the live but it's it's not about the idea, but but also if they succeed, if someone now make the live and uh, they are successful, mm -hmm. better than Aladini, others will go. Yeah. To do it. Yeah, it's like it's like how the market works. It's like this is the business. So Generally. it's not about coping, it's about taking the competitive advantage yeah. and growing yeah. that competitive advantage. Yeah. I'm telling to everyone, okay, they will copy you, but you do it better. You yeah. keep going. It's not about the idea. I, no one is making it. It's, I, I don't know someone, I haven't uh, knew. Maybe there is someone that has just an idea and is making money, but I don't know. No, it doesn't <laughs> exist. Oh, only in his dreams, so what dreams? <laughs> yeah, but maybe someone has patent something, but also they have passed 10 years of understanding that. Yeah, it doesn't so, work. I don't know these it guys. Work, these no. guys that uh, maybe yeah. they think that they are doing money, but what about the vision of Aladine? 
What is your vision for the medium term and for the long term? We want to have the biggest international company going from this region. Okay. And for the Balkans, you mean? Uh, for, for the Balkan region. Okay. But the biggest international company because we can compete with Amazon. Wow. Amazon is just 20 years company mm -hmm. and it's okay dominating everything. But it's 20 years, something will change. Yeah. And now it's changing with TikTok. They are not good at TikTok. But it's not about TikTok. It's just the idea. They that are not flexible because they have huge organizations. They don't lose that flexibility. Yeah. They have started losing that flexibility and they will lose that flexibility. So someone will uh, dominate that market again mm -hmm. and again and again. Why not us competing? And we have a formula which is connected with this kind of environment, uh, but it's in the early stages of, of uh, implementation. So I cannot tell a lot of things because they will be like crazy things without uh, uh, an idea. But I know that everyone is compatible. Jeff Bezos told that Every company will fail someday. Every company will lose the first position someday. Yeah. I hope I'm not di directing that company. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not directing that company now. So <laughs> it's very possible that someone will dominate. Uh, we need to find a formula that can use this kind of population, which is huge. It's bigger than United States. This kind of population like Albania, mm -hmm. like Pakistan, mm -hmm. like Bangladesh like this kind of emerging markets that they are just at the beginning, like Vietnam, We 100 the million people. And the, Vietnam has the same story as us. 20 years of democracy. They were communism. Mm -hmm. They were like us. So if I was in Vietnam before 10 years or now, it would have been the same. I can do a lot of things in Vietnam yeah. immediately now. So, so if we understand this, which are, we are local, then we can use this uh -huh. because no German can understand us. Uh -huh. No, it's impossible. Yeah, because we are another culture. We have other particularities. Yeah. The algorithm is very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> we are the only one or maybe some intelligent, artificial intelligence can understand. Yeah, maybe, but in the future, let's say <laughs> not in the near future, though. So until that it's okay, I will try to do that, uh, to, to, to find that solution about yeah. this kind of markets because now we are a global world. I know that within this deck, this century, no border will be anymore. Mm -hmm. There are no That's border true. now. We are That's online. Uh, we are everywhere. But it will be not anymore a problem as it is now. Yeah. And uh, I understand that because we had a border. Yeah. I didn't. I couldn't go out until my third year of uh, high school outside Albania. I needed a visa. Yeah. And I didn't go out. A total other story. First time I go at that age. I don't remember that age. Wow. But no one in Germany understand this kind of situation. Yeah. Situation. So we understand this very good, and we can uh, profit about this. Yeah. We can. We can. We can go to the global brand of yeah. things. Talking about globalization, and you mentioned Amazon before, and the fact that increasingly, as the time goes by, we have less and less borders. And in this globalized world where competition is much more fierce and stronger, how do you think you, is the best strategy to face this competition? For example, if Amazon will enter the market that in which you are capitalizing and in which you are building your company, what is your strategy on that? Because they are a bigger company and they have the advantage of having much higher capital, which can invest in aggressive marketing or who knows, yeah. What other lines of competition? And how do you think you will face something like that in the future? I mean, like, do you have an exit strategy? Do you have a counterbalance strategy for that kind of competition? How do you see this from your industry's perspective? Uh, about the industry, it's something that Amazon will not enter for the next five, five years in mm -hmm. Albania. That's for sure. Because even in the Balkans. Even in the Balkans. They are struggling in Turkey, which is huge Market. compared to us. So uh, for the next five years, they will ne not enter. But in any scenario, we are starting to compete globally in any scenario. So for example, I was competing with TikTok <laughs> yeah. personally with yeah, the yeah. young people now. So in any kind of situation, we need to think it's it's a book, it's uh, built 
to last or uh, yeah, something I, like I, that. Yeah, I read it. So uh, they have uh, they have started this yes this yeah. companies how they work and we need to have our strength. We need to work with our strength and we need to work with our team. Mm -hmm. That's the core about uh, the business. Then we need to figure it out which is the way and if we have the right team. We can do it and never 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 giving up and never never that's uh, that's for granted now so we need to to see our competitive advantage we need to see what we can do better than someone else and we don't need to to fight a, a losing battle mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's very clear mm -hmm. no one need to fight anymore it's yeah why we need to fight i don't understand this the the need to fight there is enough for everyone Mm -hmm. There is enough room for Amazon to grow and for us to grow. We just need to figure it out how we can be. If we have something better than Amazon, we can take it. Yeah, sure. But if we don't have something better than Amazon, then we can take something else. Then we can but do you, something. But you can also see a potential collaboration between you and Amazon in the future. Of course. It if the time comes, I mean. Aladini will be sold, will be exit. It's for sure. Yeah. No one. That's what I meant. Uh, this is the market, how it's going. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Turkey, so the BTC the, commerce, they will buy your structure and integrate it in the line of business. Yeah, this this will happen. It's for sure. So the, the, the companies that will start dominating each each country in the region, mm -hmm. in the Balkans, mm -hmm. will start be bought by someone who will go to the region. Yeah, that are bigger companies. That are bigger. And then the, the companies that will dominate that will be bought by Emag or Mal, which is in yeah. Europe. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then they will be bought by... Like the name of the jungle. So, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, how it's working. E-commerce is like this. And fortunately, we can see the history. We yeah. can see how it's the future. Yeah, it's very yeah, easy yeah. for us. We are the last you ever country us? in e-commerce in Europe. It's very easy for us to see how are the steps. It's, yeah, yeah. it's like we are the last. <laughs> we can see everyone how is Thai doing and then we can adjust with them. So Makes it's sense. very easy uh, for us this kind of way. But the capital is very difficult. So we need to figure Raising out. capital. The raising capital is very difficult because this is something that I now understand how Amazon... After all your experience. I, I now understand why Amazon have worked like that, at why this kind of e-commerce company needs time and need money to go over there. Because it's like we need to, to build the processes. We need to build... It's not about the page. I don't care anymore the website. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, the, 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 the structure of the people, how an order is made, how yeah. an how customer is everything that acquired. How a vendor is uh, the relationship, yeah. the relation is built. How a customer relation is built. How these kind of things are built in on the internet. It's for the first time that someone is doing this in Albania. So we need to to figure it out. And it's not like it's on United States. Uh -huh. It's not the same. This is why Amazon cannot do that. It's you need to build from scratch everything, and you need to understand any kind of uh, part of this big machine yeah. and when the machine is ready then it can be the biggest company in the world as mm. it was amazon for a long time it's it's very easy this kind of part because uh, it's very understandable now from my perspective the, because i can see it in 10 years uh, we didn't invest since the beginning because uh, i was just trying by myself i had uh, another founder at that time we are just trying to small things we didn't un know nothing about that time so we need five years just to understand the thing. Then we start thinking about investment and we need another one, two years to start understanding how we can raise capital. And then we just have to start raising capital. But it's very difficult because also the law in Albania, it's not structured. Yeah. I cannot raise capital. I need to share. I need to sell shares. Yeah. It's not the same thing and it's very difficult. How I can share? I have now eight. <laughs> Uh, investors investor in the company how i can sell to from eight of them in the same time yeah, yeah. for another new one it's it's uh, impossible yeah yeah so uh, we are going to be a public company in the future maybe the first public company in albania but until that time we need to figure it out a way yeah. how to do this because it's it's impossible yeah so i have people that want to invest now and i don't know how how to put them in the company yeah because th they will dilute the shares of the other investors if you sell to them as well. There is not a mechanism to yeah, dilute the, the shares. I know, I know. There is not a I, They need to share. They I need know. to sell. I know. But That's how, what I mean. how can I tell to everyone every time that I have someone that wants to yeah. invest? 
100,000 right. euro yeah. to, to sell, to sell yeah, one minute, yeah, yeah. two million euro yeah, sure, <laughs> at sure. the end of the road. So. But what is your suggestion to young entrepreneurs that are trying or are willing to raise capital with their startups? No, at the first stage it's very easy. Okay. Don't, don't, don't see me. <laughs> I am very... You are in an advanced stage. In a stage, very difficult and... So uh, you don't see a problem for raising capital no. as a startup. You see a problem for raising capital as a scale up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To, to, uh, now in Albania, there are so much entity for a startup to give money. Mm -hmm. I was with uh, some of this team. I don't remember the name because I can tell the name. But uh, they told me we have more money than company that want the funds. So for the first stages, for seeds and pre seeds yeah. stages, also for the first stages when they have a business, yeah, for series a. very easy. It's very easy in Albania in this stage. Uh -huh. the, this year and the last year, there are more money than businesses. Uh -huh. It's very easy. But people need to understand that they need to try. In Silicon Valley, it's 1%. Mm -hmm. So I need to meet 100 to find the right investors yeah. to find one. My percentage mm -hmm. is 20 to 30%. Wow. <laughs> so I need, 30 to, times I need to, to meet 10 people <laughs> to, find one. to find one or two or three. Wow. So, uh, for, for us in Albania, it's much more easier yeah. than in Silicon Valley. But we need to try that kind of... Uh, someone, the young people told me that uh, I tried some time, one time, and I failed. Okay. That's it. <laughs> No one told me that I've tried 20 times and I have failed and I can tell to them something that, okay, make the presentation like this. Yeah. No one have told me. Everyone told me that I have tried once. What I can tell to them, just try once again yeah. and again and again. Try 10 times it's, more. It's, it's like a percentage. It's like I am used with this, but in Albania, marketer, owner, mm -hmm. don't know that it's about numbers and conversion rate is everything. Yeah, and in e-commerce conversion rate is everything. That's why I'm used with this kind of. So, for example, uh, I'm doing this video, and I have an objective for this podcast. For example, to have a, a new investor, maybe, and I see the potential. So I have a 0.1 percent of conversion rate. Mm -hmm. So I need this video to be seen more than 1,000 times. Yeah, to have a <laughs> yeah. investor. So this is kind of probability thing to go sure. and to do it. And they will need to do this. They need to see sure. which is the probability. If they see that uh, going to people who build uh, things in Albania, it's not easy, don't go to them. Uh -huh. Go to someone else. Sure. If they see that their friends are seeing potential in their business, go to more people like your friends. Don't go to people like... Yeah, to the negative ones. To the to, to, to different ones. Yeah. So just this adjustment, this, this kind of way. Yeah. I also think that the brand name Ayladini is a very nice and strategic name to expand in the UAE as well. Yeah. In Dubai. In this kind of regions, it's. I everywhere. can help you on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. I think that's nice as a brand. Yeah. It's it's like uh, I, I can I can use the remittances money to to use Ayladini, mm -hmm. and the remittances money are six hundred forty billion dollars this year. Whoa. For this kind of markets like Albania, it's, it's huge. Million or billion? Billion. Really? Billion. Wow. It's 1 billion euro in Albania, wow. 1.8 in Kosovo. Crazy. In, in Georgia, in Ukraine. How so big? more than a half a trillion. It's, it's huge, that market. And, and everyone that is trying to take that market, it's about payment option. It's not about payment. They are doing something with that money. I know what they are doing. Wow. <laughs> with that money so so we are that place where they bring that money and we know how the people that take that money are using that money yeah. so we can cut the middle man cut the payment processor uh, companies yeah. which are huge fintech is huge now True. why they need to be huge amazon will have a fintech in the future True. why we need apple to as well care about fintech anymore Apple as well so we will be a fintech but not in the way that we transfer transfer money yeah. the transfer value the money is about the product yeah and this is the thing that Aladdin is uh, working to to go international but we need to figure it out <laughs> locally and <laughs> with the local investors at the beginning yeah, true. So. but with the right network as well yeah which of on us is a bad network 
I think we can find future collaborations between different entrepreneurs from the Balkans or international ones to help each other on succeeding and scaling up their companies. And not only that, but to create also collaborative friendships. Yeah. So I think it's very nice to That's have cases like this and especially in your specific case to give messages to the young entrepreneurs on raising capital, on the challenges of running and opening a new e-commerce business in a difficult market, which is unstructured, but with a huge potential as the market of the Balkan region and other details and things that we have discussed in this podcast. So thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure and hopefully we have some results and we can come after one year or two. Sure. Tell sure. After, after we open Aladdin in Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Valer. Okay. Pleasure. On us. Making business beautiful.